before he joined, he used to score about 40 plus or less than 40 or sometimes even fail. After he joined, I think when he come to primary five, he scored in the marks that is about 80 plus, you know, close to 90. Like I'm Eric, okay. Um, basically, uh, right now I'm actually based in JB. My three boys are actually schooling in Singapore. My eldest one joined Trinity first when I think he was in uh, primary four. I did send him to a teacher centre in, in JB here, but uh, after a few months, so I asked him how is it is. Then he just made like that long. Oh, that's how slippers are. For our olden days, uh, ours is very simple one, those max. So I don't think we can cope. Uh. Even as my wife, we both, we can't. And how, how is he going to face his PSLE? Like a very really big headache, you know. So the boy, obviously, he don't feel anything. But being uh, as a parent, so you start to have the pressure. I know nothing about Trinity before I send my boys there until I start to communicate with Mr. Rowe. Then he said, uh, we bring him, uh, we do an assessment. I said, okay. I sent Alex there for a test, uh, kind of test. Then he told me if he can pass, uh, he don't fail. Uh, he's considered very lucky. PSLE. Uh, PSLE uh. I said, oh my God. <laughs> so I said, so I, said I have to start immediately, you know, without any further delay. So I said, change everything, put him in the tuition. Before he joined, he used to score about 40 plus or less than 40 or sometimes even fail. After he joined, I think when he come to primary five, he scored the marks that is about 80 plus, you know, close to 90. Like that. You can see that he's already one of the good ones in his own class. So we really shocked and that start to give us hope. Then we said, oh, maybe he can go for A during the PSLE. So I, I used to get calls from the teacher in school saying that your son is not pass up his homework, you know, this, that, and the, the marks are very poor. He don't like maths until that. He can spend a longer hours at the tuition centre and even come back home during weekend, he don't go out to, to, to meet friends. He can sit there and spend two or three hours just to do the, all the past years papers. I, I actually made a comparison uh, during this tuition during the lecture. He's like, like, no, don't really like it. And then he don't really pick up. And then uh, when the kids uh, came back from the tuition, you can see the you know, boring face. Uh. So you ask them, what have you learned? They can tell you nothing. No. But here, his class is uh, start from six to eight. He even willing to stay until 10 o'clock. Just want to get, learn more. Okay, can you see the difference? If that place is not good, uh, it's not benefit to him. Uh. Uh, I don't think you know, any kids or, or boys or girls would want to you know, stay for four hours in one tuition, tuition center. And I can see that actually it's the teacher uh, that, uh, know, uh, that influenced him a lot on this. So I see the way they, they communicate, uh, it's more like a friend. So I can see the teacher is just joking with them, then give them some uh, TV, make everybody relax. So the learning environment, yeah, I think that's very important. It's not about uh, how many top students they can produce. I say it's more on whether my son is willing to go there. And if even if he go there, a lot of top students, if he cannot cannot improve or, or, or learn something new or become better, what's the point? And because of that, I started to refer all my, even my own uh, schoolmates uh, already uh, stay in Singapore. So I actually recommended them to bring their kids over. They, they've been telling me that they have the same problem uh, the kids are oh, not interested in math, this and that. I said, bring them. The teacher will do their job and, and change the whole thing. That's what I can see in my son.